Hello class, Mr. Greeno here. Uh, in the previous video, we set up all our other pages for uh, our website, but the one we did not set up yet is our style sheet. So we need to do that. We're going to name it style CSS. So rather than type it in, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to new, file, paste that in, style CSS, add file. So now it's just a blank file. Let me close out some of these. Oops. So we just have the index and the style CSS open right now, which of course is blank. So we need to put in the styles that we want. So first we're going to do this. And this they just say is good practice. Just in case your browser is retaining any information for margins or padding, this star basically, or this asterisk up here, oops, basically just says reset everything to zero. And then anything we put in later will override that and use whatever padding or margins we want. Next, I'm going to do this. So rather than me type and you waste time watching me type, I'm just copying and pasting from the style sheet that I have on my other screen for my. Uh, HHS Mr. G website. So I'm going to say I want all my um, headings and my H1s to have a font that's bold, 28 pixels, and the font type is Tahoma. Why? I don't know. I just picked that. And then I'm going to do my H2 tag are going to look like this. Font bold, but only 24 pixels, and Tahoma. You could style all your paragraphs but I think I'll just let my paragraphs look the way the browser wants to display them by default. So I won't even bother to do a P tag. But now we do have a body. And this I'm not going to copy and paste because I have some extra stuff going on on my website that we'll learn later. I don't want to throw it all at you at once. But in the body, a lot of people like, I don't know why these didn't go back to the end and it doesn't really matter but let's be consistent probably some setting I had when I did my website um, inside my body I want all my text to be aligned to the center just cause I like that so I'm gonna put text dash align and then colon in the center the other thing I want is I want a background color. Now, if you look over here, we'll see how to do this later. This is not actually a color. My background is actually an image, just like a little bit of a bluish texture, which kind of makes it, I think, look nice. But let's not get into that just yet. So let's just do a background color for now. Background hyphen color, and we'll just call it Let's do light blue instead of just blue, because dark blue is, well, regular blue is maybe a little too dark. Okay, so if I save this now and I refresh, I have this light blue, and this is already in the center because if I go back to my index.html, my nav bar is in my body and I just styled my body to have everything in the center. So that's why my text is in the center on this page and on this page and my tables that I, I like to use tables. I'm not going to require students to do that because some people don't like tables. Uh, I'll show you how to do it, but you don't have to. You could just have them one, have your links one after another, but you can see everything centered for me. I like it. It doesn't have to be. Okay. So that's how it's looking right now. Um, but after the body, we're going to style our navigation bar. Now, if I just use the tag nav, then every navigation bar that's tagged out as nav, which it should be because it's a semantic tag that says to the browser, hey, this is the navigation bar, then every navigation bar on my website will be the same, which is usually pretty common but sometimes you have like a little section of your website that's different and maybe you want your nav bar there to look a little differently so I'm going to incorporate 
into this um, an ID so rather than just say nav I'm going to say hashtag navbar ul meaning my unordered list my unordered list text align center uh, I know it's in the body but this is for the list as it goes across so my text is in the center and then I'm going to do not just text in the center but now we also have something else to do again hashtag navbar main is what I'm calling that ID and for my UL so all of my list items that are in my that are all list items that are inside an unordered list with the ID navbar main will display inline block background color black my padding as such 11 oh god now I think I forget it starts at the top and it goes around so 11 25 so top and bottom 11 left and right 25 and my fonts gonna be bold 14 pixels to Homa so let's see how this let me save this and refresh this and it didn't do anything why didn't it do anything oh I know why because I have this called out as nav but I didn't give it the ID so I have to go and say and I'm just going to copy paste ID equals navbar main that's on my index page guess what I'm going to have to add that to all my pages so we did set up with a template but hey you know we're going to have to modify things every now and then we've got to remember to do it on every page very important I mean you'll know if you didn't Uh, this is video game design. I'm saying to myself, why didn't it update right? I don't know why it's on that, but hey, let's go here. This is the best way to look at it. If I go to home. There you go. So here's my nav bar starting to take shape. And yeah, if I go to video game design, no, it's not like that. Why not? Well, because I didn't do that on my other pages yet, but I will. So computer animation, click in the nav bar, paste that in, graphic design. Click in the tag for the nav bar, paste that in. Index I already did. Mr. G interests, paste that in. Video game design, paste it in. And web design. So if you're making a change to your navigation structure, you just got to remember to do it on every page. So you can see it. It's for someone who does real web design as like a, a, their career, their living, their occupation. Uh, doing it like this is kind of cumbersome because there could be lots and lots of pages so they have fancier programs that they use that kind of keep track of hey you made a change over here and it affects all these other pages do you want it updated you just say yes and the program goes and does it for you uh, here you got to kind of do it manually which is kind of good because we only got a few pages and it lets you understand all the effort that goes in making sure all these links always work so save we're not just saving this page we're saving all of them uh, now let's close this out go back here and open this up in a browser and it should be good and look the same on every page but I don't really like the way it looks but you can see it's starting to take shape okay let's close this out and go back so now it's working but we're doing more stuff so the text is aligned inside our well inside of our sort of buttons right but this is like squashed right up at the top but we're gonna change that um, I don't like the purple on the black so we're gonna change that stuff and then then you feel free to change it however you like because maybe you don't like my colors so after after the ULLI we also have the A uh, the a tag the reference the link of the list item that's inside the ul that has an id of navbar main the color is now going to be yellow and the text decoration is going to be none so now we save this and look at it 
and now it's yellow without the text decoration. And you say, well, what? Yeah, I think you can understand the difference between yellow and purple, but what's text decoration? Well, let's take that out. I'm going to control X to cut it and then go look at this. Text decoration means it gives it the underline to let you know it's a hyperlink, which if it's just text on a web page, I think you kind of want that so everybody knows it's linked. But when it's a navigation bar, everybody knows that the navigation bar is the links to the other pages. So it's kind of silly to have that under there. And I think it looks, eh, I kind of think it looks yucky. So let's go back here and uh, put that back in so that it gets rid of the underline. That's what the text decoration is. And let's look at that again. Notice though, when I hover, I do get the hand, so I know it's a link, but nothing's changing. I want a little animation there. I want my color to change. So let's close this out and go over here and say, okay, well, when I hover over it, I want it to change to a different color. And right now it's gonna change to white from yellow. Let me save that and look at it again. When I hover over, they change to white. And then when I click, it goes to it. I actually want it to change color when I click. So right now when I click, it just stays white. All right, let's close this out and go back. And so the last thing I'm gonna to do to style my navigation bar is this. Oops, why did that happen? Go back over there. There we go. Bring that up a little bit. So now it says anything with an ID an ID of navbar main, when A is active, meaning the hyperlink is active, change it to this color. And this color, I got it from somewhere, Photoshop, by looking at the hexadecimal number. But that's getting fancy. I probably shouldn't do that. Let's see. When I click, it changes to like a pink. So, I don't know. I probably, for whatever reason, got, wanted to get fancy. Let's just call it pink. So let's save this and look at it. Hover over, you get a white. Click, you get pink. See, I don't really like that pink. I like my pink better. More of like a hot pink. So, but anyway, whatever color you want. And so we'll go over in a later video how to set a color that you like that's not just a standard name like pink or red or white to actually like go to a color wheel and find the color you like and get that uh, hexadecimal number for it that they use the hashtag with so that you can actually have the color you like not just the standard colors that come there really are a lot of colors and you can look them up but sometimes it's easier going to a color wheel than trying to find the actual word and just using that that hashtag so that's what I had done there so now we have our website basically working as far as the navigation bar, really the navigation bar is just a list, but the way it looks pretty nice is from our style sheet, which we have the nav bar, the body, and just some headings. Feel free to add anything else you would like. You know, if you wanted to style your paragraph, you do a P tag and you style it however you like. And that affects everything in your website because all of them are linked to that same that same style sheet there you go